Hi Taurus, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for March 12th through the 18th. This is a love reading, okay? So if you know you might you might want to turn it off if you're if you're looking for money, all right? So let's see what comes up. I'm gonna get you one oracle card, and then we are going to break into the tarot spread. This is just an overall energy for Taurus. And I do think it's important to shuffle on screen, so that's why I do it. Ooh! Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Is there somebody you need to forgive? Or do you need to forgive yourself? Now this can stem all the way back to your childhood. Something's happening very quickly. Okay, something is happening very fast. Could be in regards to a new relationship or a reconciliation. Yeah. Okay, so there you are. So there's some sort of personal freedom. Okay, there's some sort of liberation. Perhaps you free yourself from something and a new commitment comes right in. It's like you've been stalling. It's like you have this this new vision, okay? There's a new vision here where some there's some sort of truth or power or awakening. Maybe you've gone through some sort of awakening that allows you to free yourself from something, okay? And now and now there's this new passionate person <laughs> that comes into your life okay we have Aries Leo Sagittarius right here it's like you're starting to come out of darkness there is definitely a new beginning here for somebody okay and it's like you've manifested it because it's you know it's with this with this freedom You've taken the action to free yourself from something and accept the truth of a situation. And now that you have done that, you have manifested something that is true and stable and solid. We're going to get right into this. But we have three aces. Ace, ace, ace. Okay. And they're all upright. So wonderful. One, one, one. You've gone through some sort of awakening, all right? You've gone through some sort of awakening, and things are starting to happen really, really fast, okay? It feels as though um, your thoughts have manifested, and now there's, and you've believed in yourself, and you followed your own path, and because you were able to do that with, with, um, oh, what's the word? Certainty, 
you followed your path with certainty that there's a new commitment on the horizon. Okay? It does. There's some sort of new commitment. All right? And you have, because you have taken the time to evolve and release and free yourself from something that didn't serve you. Okay? I think you're coming out of this period of darkness. You're coming out of being alone. And I feel like there is some new opportunity in love and stability and commitment that is coming into your life and it's coming very quickly and I feel like this person whoever it is they have been maybe watching you from afar okay so this is a Aries Leo Sagittarius somebody who is very wise well put together hard worker um, somebody who is very mature um, and they may have freed themselves from something recently as well okay so I think it's time where you're both ready for a firm, solid, honest, loving commitment. And I think that this has been manifested through your thoughts and actions. Okay? It's like you're no longer going to be stuck even though you've been stalling. You've been stalling from, from allowing love to come in. I think the stalling is over and because that you, you, have, you were able to release. Okay, we're going to get some clarifiers here. But let me get this zoomed in correctly. It looks pretty good. So it appears that something is happening. Something is absolutely happening where you're no longer in the dark. It's like you're starting to see see the light and, and that you're going through this. Um, it's the end of difficulty. It's the end of being alone. I think there's somebody coming into your life that is very... Uh, focused on stability and love okay i think you've got a, a new opportunity coming in that is absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. we're going to clarify we are going to clarify this king of wands what is the who is this king of wands pisces king i'm not pisces what the hell uh don't for, scratch that uh Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like this person has been watching you, okay? They have. I think that they've been interested and they've been waiting for the right time to, to take action, you know? This is the good tarot deck it's called the good tarot it's like this person they may they they have they may have been getting out of a commitment okay it feels like that's why I it's funny at the beginning I said that you know I think that they're getting over something too there I think there's been some sort of uh, they've been doing their work and I think that they've just gotten out of a commitment or not just but there's they've done their healing work to get out of a commitment I think that you're both at the same spot in your life where you're both ready for a solid, loving, honest commitment. But you both had to do the work, I think, because you're here and they're here. And right next to that is the personal freedom. So I feel like whoever this person is, you've both done the work and accepted the truth that it was and went through some spiritual awakening or evolvement that has given you the power to release the past so that you guys could come together and I think that you're both on the same you know playing field all right and I feel as though you know you both had to get out of a commitment because here you are this is man or woman here this person is this is man or woman you both had to release a commitment before you could come together And now things are happening. Now things are happening very quickly because you've taken the action that you needed to take. This person is not your usual type, okay? This person that's coming into your life is probably quite the opposite, okay? Probably quite the opposite of you, but, you know, that's it's great because you guys will each have something to give to the other, you know? I feel like this is exactly what you deserve, that you're going to get what you deserve and they're going to get what they deserve. I think that this is going to be an equal relationship where you both uh, 
you know, help each other in, in ways that the other couldn't, couldn't do. I can't think of the right words, but you know what I'm trying to say, where you guys are, you know, opposites attract. Okay. So I think that you guys are completely opposite from each other, but it works. Okay. I think it's what is needed here. Um, this person is very intellectual. They are very intense and there's a lot of wisdom here okay now we also have the king of air which is libra gemini aquarius but look at this we, it's that i think you're dealing with a aries leo sagittarius so aries leo sagittarius aries leo sagittarius aries leo sagittarius i think one of you is or both of you is taking on this energy this is somebody who takes the lead so this is about um, being objective as well. So perhaps you need to be objective because this person is not your usual type. Okay, they're not. So this person is solid. This is a very solid person that is offering love, commitment, honesty, truth. Okay, I just feel like this person that is coming into your life is being is very direct, and that may that may put you off a little bit, but. They're very honest, okay? And what they're offering is genuine, very, very genuine. So I feel like you are probably receiving some sort, you will be receiving some sort of message that is pretty exciting, okay? It may be direct, but it's exciting. You may receive a direct message from somebody that excites you and makes you very happy. And, you know, it's what you've been waiting for, okay? I feel like there was a time where you know, I think that you've been stalling. Remember I said you've been stalling. You've been stalling in regards to love and holding back and not wanting it and not thinking it was going to, and not really putting much energy in it. And I think you've been stalling because you had been taken advantage of. So I feel like you were, you're really afraid of being taken advantage of. And that's still a fear that you have of being taken advantage of and being afraid to offer love, you know, because what if somebody takes advantage of me? What if maybe it was this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody that was, you know, takes on this energy that took advantage of you? I just, I feel like, you know, it's time for a change, of course. It's time to let go of that fear. It's time for you to take a risk and, and stop feeling like um, the worst is going to happen. It's, I think there's a change, of course, here. Destiny is at play. And whatever is happening here is bringing you closer to the one. Whatever has happened brought you both closer together. Yeah, this time uh, alone has served you very well. I think that this time of solitude um, has allowed you to focus on what you're looking for in a, partment, uh, a partner. And I think the same for this person. I think you're both on the same level. That's what I see here. But you're opposite, and that's hard to explain, I know. So you, you're on the same level as far as you're ready. You're ready for the real deal. You're ready for um, a strong, solid, loving, honest commitment, both of you. And you've both went through a hard time, okay? You've both went through a, a struggle of some sort where it has now ended and you have become free, okay? You've become free of that... Um, imprisonment per se, you know, where you were holding yourself captive in that, that state of mind where you had to be stuck, but it was really a protective tactic. And I think, like I said, that goes all the way back to your childhood with this card, you were protecting yourself. And I feel that now you've come to the point where you have mastered your emotions and you're ready to open up. You've taken the time out. You've take, went through that period of solitude to heal and to focus on what you want. And not only you, the other person that's coming into your life has also done the same thing. And I think you needed to do that before you guys could both start this new journey, okay? So I feel like this, this time of introspection has served you to the point where now you're ready to no longer be alone. And it appears that there's a lot of love coming in. I feel like you're, you're about to find a lot of happiness that's going to come right into your life. You're going to be very happy. Um, 
Yeah, you are. So the, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Interesting, huh? So the thing is, is that you, you walk away from something, and this is exactly what has happened. You leave something behind emotionally, okay? You leave, and it, turn, it leads to a lot, it leads to wish fulfillment and the ultimate happiness, okay? So you had to complete, you had to complete this cycle, you know, so that you could have this happiness that you have always wished for. I really believe that this, there could be an Aries coming into your life. You, there could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have them. We have a... Uh, we have them all, really. I don't see the water signs, though. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I really think this is your energy, but it could be another one. We have um, Aries quite a bit. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But the, the fire signs are the most prominent. We do have Cancer here as well, though. So it appears to me that something has been left behind regarding both parties. I think that this coming together is destiny. It's destiny. Okay? Everything happened throughout time, throughout your lives to bring you to this point. I mean, this is what has happened here. And now I feel like it's it's time for you to uh make a choice, okay? Really make a choice. Do you want to stay stuck in your mental conflict with in the past or do you want to move forward? And I think that Many of you are ready. You're ready to move forward. Um, it's like you're no longer going to focus on what's been lost. It's either... <laughs> this is great. This is make the choice. Either you stay focused on the loss or you or you look at the new perspective, the new opportunity. You be, you look at the new opportunity, okay? This is the choice you have to make. And I think that you're going to make the choice in this direction, okay? Because the new opportunity is what's going to bring you happiness, okay? It is. I think it's a time of success, Okay, I do. I feel like it's a time of success and it is a time of reaping the rewards of all the work that you have done. All right, it's a time of togetherness. It's a time of uh, cooperation, somebody that, that you can actually work with. All right, look at the threes. It's after a period of heartache. Yeah, it's like you need to make a choice. Do you want to move forward towards success or do you want to stay stuck in the hard heartache? I mean, that's what this choice is. Do you want to stay stuck or do you want... And that is a choice. It is. So I think that you guys are going to ha are, are being presented with an opportunity this month for new love, which is stable and secure. And I think that you had worked very hard to let go of something. And now that this new love has been presented to you, you're a little scared. You don't want to be naive. You don't want to make the wrong choice. You know, you don't want to... You've been taken advantage of in the past. So you're, I think that you're afraid that, you know, this could be too good to be true. Uh, this new person that comes into your life based on the past, even though you have freed yourself from the past, from this past mental conflict, I see that you have. There's still that question of, you know, am I quite ready? Am I quite ready to move into this new relationship? Am I quite ready for this, this new partnership? Am I? Am I really ready for this? That's still a question here. But I feel like you are ready and I think the other person is offering you stability, security, and love. And I think that your, your past hurt is, is making you feel a little uncomfortable with as, whereas... Am I able to forgive and move on freely? And I think you are. I think this is a week where you have a new opportunity that happens very quickly. I think somebody uh, communicates with you that has been watching you, and it's quite exciting, very exciting. There's a lot of probably there's a, there's a lot of uh, passion as well because we have all this fire energy. There's a lot of excitement here, but there's just that little, that little, um, oh, what's that word? Voice of fear, that little voice of fear that says, oh, what if, you know, that doubt, what if I, I, I get taken advantage of again? But I think that you are going to move past that and you are going to...
be objective about this situation and master your emotions and communicate with this person and start new. That's the death card. I, th I see that you guys are going to probably give this person a chance. Most of you are ready for a new beginning. And I think it's pretty exciting. You're ready to you're ready to release the past and start a new journey elsewhere. Talk to you later.